What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Hugh with Prolific Breed. It's only been a couple of days since the last video that I posted. I kind of wanted to document the new anemones that I picked up. They were in shock or they went through a tank crash somehow with um, Russell, this kid that I've been trading corals with. Um, you can see in the center right there, there's two. They look kind of stubby compared to these two right here right on the bottom these are mine but within the mix you'll see them um, the two up top right there I got in the package this one right here I got in the package and within this cluster um, right in the center up top that's one of the sick ones or one of the ones that went into shock and over here on this rock there's two or three more of those um, you can see the difference in coloration and how they are shaped they look kind of stubby and I'm looking to kind of power feed them and kind of nurse them back to health and hopefully the coloration and the shape would come back um, when I'm looking at them right now it looks like they're just kind of stubby and starting to shrink in size and it looks like they need a power feeding or something like that so let's cut out and I'll show you guys what I'm planning on um, feeding these anemones guys, to feed the anemones I'm going to be using this polylabs reefroids now this is a very good coral food not just anemone food but it was specifically designed to um, feed gonoporas or alveoporas they're that flower pot looking um coral it looks like a bunch of flowers kind of popping out i have one in my lagoon 25 but those corals need like specifically um small or microscopic feedings to kind of filter feed through their mouths or whatever but um let me show you what it looks like on the inside it's just a really fine powder and I think it would be good for the anemones because the anemones that I, I picked up they look like they're in shock or sick so I think if I just um, threw in a silver side or a piece of shrimp or something like that I don't think they have um, enough energy to kind of digest a, a chunk like that and I think um, feeding them this fine powder would be easier on their digestive system and they can kind of absorb all of the good nutrients into their body and kind of use it to um, get their coloration and body build back I guess now to do this I'm just going to be using just any old cup right here and then to feed it I have this disposable pipette um, you can get this on Amazon for like 400 pieces for very cheap like 10 15 dollars I'll leave a link down in the description I love using this to kind of um, measure out um, meds and things like that to dose the tank but I use this to spot feed as well. Now, steps. I'm just using a disposable knife to kind of scoop up the the refroids right here. You guys can see. Scoop up the refroids to get a little bit. Get it in the cup. Since I have so many gonna do two scoops I'm just eyeballing this there's no um, sp specific uh, measurements or anything like that just, I just get some into the cup like so and then we're just gonna get some tank water and mix it in let me grab some right now so went to the tank Squeezed the pipette, got some water, and I'm gonna put it in and stir it up, get a nice um, thick.
the paste going. I think that's too thick. I'm gonna get another squeeze in there. You guys can see that. It's just a really uh, kind of like a cake batter mixture going on here. So I'm going to squeeze the pipette and get some in. Still not mixed well. Get the mixture in and we're gonna go to the tank right now and start feeding this all by myself right now with both of my hands um, I got the camera on I'm just sick anemones right here but let's turn off all of the pumps and everything so once I squeeze this in it doesn't flow all over the place Alexa turn off wave maker 2 okay Alexa, turn off auto top off. Okay. Alexa, turn off main pump. Okay. All right, now everything's off. You can see up top, the top view. I got my syringe, my whole arm in there. Um, where's the anemone right here? I'm gonna spot feed him. One next to him. Just put some on, see if they react to it. Hopefully they, they take it. Got some on for him. It doesn't look like they're reacting to it. You can see. Hopefully they'll start eating it but if I start feeding these if I start feeding sorry the water's going through the pipes right now um, if I feed these um, healthy anemones you'll see them just gobble it up so right here I'll squirt some right by the mouth They're like instantly reacting to the feeding, um, kind of curling all of their tentacles up and then absorbing the rephroids. The sick guys do not look reactive at all. See this guy right here, he's sick. There's a cluster right here. See the big guy right there. He's just absorbing all of that refroid. The sick guys, you can see their reactions like a little slower than the, the healthy guys. But through time, um, hopefully they'll get better with the feedings. You could see them reacting to it, but not drastically like the healthy guys. So you see this guy right here. He's trying to curl up and collect the refroids into his mouth. Same for the guy in the the back down here. You can see him curling up one side trying to absorb that refroid. This guy seems like he's eating as well. Let me get another squirt. Alright, I got another full syringe right here. Uh, it's not focusing. All right, got another full syringe right here. You can feed whatever we want. Um, there's this guy back here, he's pretty big. Let's get some on his mouth. Yeah, I noticed the, the ones that look sick, 
they're really slow at re reacting to like slight touch or anything like that but I wish I can zoom in but you're s I'm seeing his mouth um, kind of opening up and then he's curling to kind of guide that food and yeah right now he's closing up he's closing up to absorb the the refroids give him some more pretty glad I, I captured in that in real time you can see it's moving pretty slow I see another one underneath right here we'll give it a little squirt over here sorry um, my camera angles are so bad you see these guys right here they're all kind of curling up especially they'll look like this kind of cocooned and absorbing the reefroids this one's trying to he's he's one of the sick ones you see half of his body trying to curl up right here I haven't fed him yet I'll drop some down on to his tentacles and then we'll watch the reaction see that how the healthy ones how they're reacting to the feedings way faster than the sick ones see his tentacles kind of grabbing and then pulling towards its mouth it's another one right here we could do a top-down shot see the reaction you keep doing this to the healthy anemones they just get bigger and bigger and more and more plump it's a top-down shot of this cluster right here You see the sick anemones trying to eat so I'll keep at this for a couple more weeks um, I'm seeing the coloration come back anemones um, from what I've read they don't need um, feedings um, some people say that light just light is enough for them to kind of photosynthesize and get energy but I think they they um they do filter feed whatever is like floating through the the water column and feeding um, definitely helps with coloration and growth from what i have seen anyways um that's pretty much all i wanted to share with you guys today this is just a couple of days after um, introducing you guys to the 13 anemones that i picked up last week and i guess we'll just keep this as a kind of week by week um prog progress i'll give um check-ins every now and then to let you guys know how everything's going but yeah the guys are looking like this and it's pretty much it uh i'll be trying to update you guys more often now so stay tuned for more videos coming in the near future so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.